Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And satellite connectivity is just starting to come to smartphones and more and more you hear stories about it being very useful to people and even saving some people's lives. So in this video, we are going to be able to check out a couple different satellite connected devices. MediaTek sent over the CAT S75 smartphone and the Motorola Defy satellite link. Big thanks to MediaTek for sponsoring this video and sending these over. Both have the MediaTek MT6825 chipset inside that allows for that satellite connectivity. So in this video, we'll take a quick look at these two devices, set them up, and I will be out hiking. I will find very remote areas to truly test out uh, the satellite connectivity in both of these devices. Now, they're a little bit different. You have a phone versus a satellite link. So this is a Bluetooth enabled device. So maybe you don't wanna buy a new phone with satellite connectivity, your current phone doesn't have it. You can bring this with you and it will give you that satellite connectivity connected to your phone. Anyways, this will be a great video. It'll be fun to get out in the wild, truly test these devices. Let's get started. Here are the two satellite devices, the CAT S75 smartphone and the Motorola Defy satellite link. This will be an abridged unboxing. Just want to quickly show off the phone. Very rugged design, which obviously makes a lot of sense. If you need that satellite connectivity, you're probably going to be out and about. So we'll set this up. I'll talk about anything that's noteworthy on this device. Again, the Motorola Defy allows for two-way satellite messaging and SOS assistance. Quickly opening up the box, there is our Defy. Actually a little bit thinner than I was expecting. It's super light as well. You get your standard booklets, getting started guide, plus USB type A to type C cable for charging. Now I'm going to set both of these devices up, quickly talk about anything that is noteworthy, and then we are going to go hit the trail. I do want to point out the CAT S75 is not for sale in the U.S. It's not optimized for U.S. networks, but we should still be able to test out that satellite connectivity. A quick close-up of the Motorola Defy, and this is the only Bluetooth accessory with the MediaTek MT6825 NTN chipset. It has a webbing strap with a D-Link attachment, so you can have it on a belt, maybe attach it to a backpack. Uh, our buttons here, power, it does have a USB Type-C port here on the side to charge that 600 milliamp hour battery. SOS button right here on the right side, which will work even if you aren't connected to a phone. Flipping it over on the back, we have a speaker right here, very small one. And this, I believe, is Braille saying SOS. The setup process was super simple. Just create an account through the Bullet app. This is the app you'll use with both of these devices to communicate. And now it's time. Let's go find a remote area and do some hiking. So it's time to do some testing and we're out hiking up in Northern Michigan where we're out in the middle of nowhere. We don't have any service. So this is an example of where satellite connectivity will come in handy and it just makes you feel extra safe knowing you can stay in contact if needed. On this hike, I have the CAT S75 smartphone and it has MediaTek's MT6825, which allows this phone to connect to geostationary satellites 37,500 kilometers above the earth. So you can stay connected even in the most remote areas. This phone is built to survive extreme temperatures, humidity, water, which was great because it was raining this morning. Uh, so I didn't have to worry. It's just one less thing to worry about. And if I drop it, it's going to be very durable. This makes it great for any adventure. So these two devices allow for two-way satellite messaging, emergency SOS around the world, and even location sharing. So it's great when you're in really remote areas. And this vibrates right now because because it just found a satellite link out in the middle of nowhere. So it lets you know when you are in an open space and it connects to a satellite. So going into the Bullet app is where you can handle all of your messaging, your checking in and tracking. On the S75, tracking is coming soon. Anyways, going into it, let's jump into settings. I wanna show off satellite mode. You can go into your settings and change it from satellite when needed, satellite only or off. I'm gonna switch it to satellite only mode to show you how this actually works. Also pointing out that you can have a specific contact for check-in and it'll send your location coordinates plus a specific message that you have preset. Now, when you look for a satellite, you wanna have a clear view of the sky. And on this phone, when you use it, it says, turn it to the right. You wanna be able to point it in the correct direction so it can make a direct link with the satellite. 
And as you can see today, I checked in, it sent the specific coordinates to my mom so she knew I was safe. And I can tell her I will check in, you know, every two hours just so the, your loved ones or friends know that you're doing okay. You can type any message you'd like, and you can even add location to that specific message if wanted. The CAT S75 also has MediaTek's Dimensity 930 chipset inside, so when you have 5G connectivity available, this does have a fast 5G connection. Plus, it also has a 50 megapixel camera, so when you're out taking pictures on your hike, uh, you can capture it on that high megapixel camera. Again, maybe you're not in the market for a satellite connected device. This Motorola Defy satellite link will connect to Android and iOS devices. So if you have your iPhone or any Android device, it will connect via Bluetooth. And the same app is on the Cat S75, that bullet app you can use to communicate via satellites. In both of these devices, the MediaTek MT6825 can automatically receive messages, whereas in other GPS devices, you have to manually refresh to check for messages. So it's really great. And not only that, they'll automatically receive it, but it does have power saving capability. So it's not just gonna drain your battery. This has four days of battery life and you can just recharge it. Hey, it's buzzing again because it has satellite connectivity. And using the same bullet app on your phone, when connected to the Motorola Defy, you can use SOS, uh, you can check in with someone, tracking is coming soon, but again, you can have your messages, you can text people, let them know you're doing okay, and even attach your location to a message. And I found a little beach on the hike, and don't forget, these devices have dust and water resistance, so no need to worry if you happen to drop it in the water. And now that I'm back to an area with service, this is what an incoming text will look like when being sent via satellite. You will need to download the Bullet Satellite Messenger app to reply to the message if you'd like to. And speaking of the water, another great use case is when you're out on the lake, in the ocean, on a boat, when you do lose connectivity, which I do all the time when we're out boating, which can be a problem if you're trying to let someone know you're on your way back to the house, or even if you need SOS, hopefully you never need to use it, but it's obviously great to have that connectivity, that, uh, that safe feeling that you get, and it's super helpful to be able to communicate with family and friends while you're out on the boat. So all in all, that's everything I want to talk about with the CAT S75 and the Motorola Defy satellite link. Very clear, MediaTek's got you covered with satellite connectivity, whether you want it in your phone or just in a tiny Bluetooth accessory. And I love that MediaTek is committing to satellite connectivity because it allows for a safer experience when you're out and don't have connection. Not only that, it allows for the potential for more and more people to have connectivity in general. There's a lot of areas around the world that don't have connection, can't communicate. So all in all, very happy with these two devices. You can have great satellite connectivity in the most remote areas around the world. So anyways, keep an eye out for more MediaTek satellite connected devices in the future. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about Motorola's and Cat's take on satellite connectivity. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.